The idea is that you will take the uh, sound of a monosynth, like the Arc Odyssey in this case, and then put it through the pitch shifters to create a polyphonic uh, sound. I'm using the uh, Fourier transformation pitch shifters that Jan Brailer uh, made. Uh, excellent work, uh, And They are a bit uh, CPU hungry, so I can't go any further than uh, four voice polyphonic, uh, because otherwise you will see uh, it's going to, uh, to give some problems with my CPU. The first note that is being played by the ensemble is directed to the ARP Odyssey by a MIDI signal. So the first note that we hear is just the ARP Odyssey. There's no difference. But as soon as I play a second note, the tone of the first note is taken by the pitch shifter and uh, you can see it over here, it will play um, the difference between the notes plays uh, to shift the note up. So this is the first note, which is uh, shifted to zero. And then the second note, I will play it a half a note up, it's like this, or a whole note, or uh, uh, three half notes so in this way I use the first note to generate the second note and again the same is true for the third note and also the fourth note so in total I can play four notes One other thing you can do with it is uh, use your voice and create uh, uh, some extra backing vocals. So it is not like a auto tune, so it doesn't matter where I press the notes. It will take uh, the first note as the zero uh, shift and the other notes as uh, relative to the first note uh, played. <coughs> so let me explain how the note in works. If we are going into the panel with a different ensemble but the same uh, modified note in, then we see that we have several output boards. For each pitch and gate is a separate output board. So the first note in is sent to pitch 1 and gate 1, and the second to pitch 2, gate 2, and so on. So here we can set the polyphony that we want. So in this case I've created an ensemble with a four note polyphony, meaning that we have four different oscillators, all uh, set a bit different, also four different um, filters and I've used my own uh, modified uh, envelopes uh, because this envelope will take four notes instead of one and also uh, a modified mixer but um, it, it will also mix the four notes so if I press the first note it will go to oscillator one and the second will go to oscillator two and the third to oscillator 3 and the third to oscillator 4 but what happens if I press more than 4 notes then it will go back to the first oscillator and the first note pressed is uh, substituted by the uh, fifth note that I am pressing so let me show you this So it's going uh, uh, each time back from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 1 to 3 to 3 to 4 and so on. Um, I've made a special setting where the first note is kept and it's going from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 and then to 2 to 3 to 4 to 2 to 3 to 4 and to, 
the first note is to keep him pressed. That's this button. So back uh, to the Monopoly uh, ensemble. Um, here we see again uh, the note in, the modified note in, with the modified bento box envelope and bento box mix. So it works similar as I have explained. One other thing is that uh, the note in has also a MIDI out. Uh, this means that um, the notes uh, played are uh, sent to MIDI out. Uh, in order to take control of the R policy. Um, important is that the first note pressed uh, is held when other notes are pressed. And in order to, to achieve that, the, uh, the note sent to MIDI, MIDI out uh, is kept until all notes are released. One other thing that the um, uh, Monopoly makes possible is to not just to, to add uh, extra tones but also to modify the pitch by a LFO to introduce uh, vibrato by using the mod wheel uh, or aftertouch and you can also use the pitch band and this would be normally not possible since the ARP Odyssey will not respond to such uh, MIDI signals so that's why I also use a pitch shifter for the first note because otherwise I cannot count uh, uh, add the vibrato and now I can so that's all I wanted to share I hope you liked it and please uh, let me know what you think Thank you.